Hello friends, welcome back. As I am recording this, it is April 20th. May is almost here and it's snowing outside. Insert horrifying footage here. Spring will eventually be here to stay. In the meantime, I'm doing some creative planning for that weird and wacky month of May where cross stitchers do strange things. <laughs> so uh, if you're new to the cross stitch community, May is a lot of fun. We like to mix it up and force ourselves to do things out of our comfort zone. Some people celebrate what is called stitch mania, where they start what is whatever for them an amazing amount of projects one after another whether it be 10 to 30 i've never been able to swing it that way so a couple years ago i came up with my own plan which is called stitch sania so if the idea of starting more than four projects kind of freaks you out you can come join me for my method and, um, you know, have that nice little mix of responsibility and rewarding yourself. I really wasn't sure whether I was going to be able to muster up some participation even in my own method. What's on my nose? Were you just going to let me go on with this video without saying anything? As I was saying, life has been a little bit taxing for me lately, mentally and emotionally, and just thinking about doing anything that required more mental effort felt too strenuous. However, I kind of landed on a project that I do want to spend extended time on coming up, and I don't think it will be too hard. So let me just explain to you my Stitch Sania method. It's super easy. All you do is pick a older project that you would like to see progress on, or maybe two older projects you'd like to see progress on, and then during the month of May, on the weekdays, Monday through Friday, you work on that project and you try to meet some goals, whether it would be time goals, so a certain amount of time per day or per week that you'd like to put into that project, and you try to meet the goal, and then on the weekend, you get a new start. I like this method because it makes me feel like I've earned the new start, even though I know that crafting is just for fun. I really don't earn anything, but I'm at least visiting an old project that I do want to eventually complete. Uh, so I'm putting in that responsible time to get my little reward of a new project on the weekend. And because uh, starting new things tends to feel stressful to me, um, four new starts is an okay number. It doesn't feel overwhelming. It can almost feel like fun. The way cross stitch is supposed to feel! So. Here's what I am planning for the month of May. All things are up for negotiation. I would like to share with you the project I'm hoping to maybe finish in May and the four new starts that I would like to accomplish. Although those two, they got to fight for the right to be started. You know what I'm saying? Like if the squirrel comes, the squirrel comes. Here are my past two Stitch Senia accomplishments. My first year that I did it was 2019 and I was working on this Dimensions Bag Lady kit. And each week I challenged myself to bag one cat. So I wanted to be able to finish the bag and the cat within the week, which looks huge. Like, did you do anything but cross stitch? It actually goes really quickly because all of these are half stitches. So I was able to get five cats done and shortly after that I finished the whole project. So, and I really love this, it hangs in our bedroom. <laughs> it hangs in our bedroom. 
because this is what kind of person I am. Last year in 2020, I challenged myself. <laughs> this is my professional hanging method. This is hanging in my closet, which I know is a real shame. This is my mushroom and fern chatelaine, and last year I challenged myself to bead one section each week, and I was able to accomplish that and finished all the beading during the week and rewarded myself with new starts on the weekend. And it's gorgeous. And someday it will be framed in on my wall, but not today. This year I have a much less colorful project planned. I feel a little bit guilty about picking this as my project and telling you exactly how I feel about it because the pattern is by my friend Beth Twist. However, all the angst that I have toward this project is entirely my fault and none of the Beth's. This is an amazing pattern. It's called I've Got My Love to Keep Me Warm. The reason this has been in the pile for way too long is because I decided to start it on 25 count one over one. It is tiny, it is cute. I hate stitching one over one. I don't care what count it is. It's not fun to me. Um, but I keep dragging myself back and now I am too invested to stop, but it's just languished. So here's where I am. It is so tiny and cute. I am about halfway down and I think I could be able to finish this in May. The problem is I cannot stitch this in hand. I am going to have to use my Lowry stand. So I'm hoping that my elbow agrees with me and I will be able to put some serious time into this. I still have this whole bottom section. What am I thinking? Can I really, f I don't know. I don't know about that. So here are the four projects I'm eyeing that I am most eager to start in the month of May. You recently saw me talk about this. This is the Scarlet Letters Elizabeth Isles with its wonderful bird. I am calling this Periwinkle Angel Pants. And there's gonna be angels flying everywhere because this thing's huge. It's 14 by 16 and 7 eighths inches. I'm not sure why I need 32 angels flying around my house, but you know, whatever. A lot of you agreed that the vintage country mocha looks amazing with the colors. This is going to be so much fun. Tell them about six angels in and then I'm going to be like, what was I thinking with all these angels? Next up, I will prove to you my love for Beth and Heartstring Samplery by showing you the two patterns that I want to start that are both by Beth. This is Permit Me Not to Stray, and it is an Adam and Eve sampler, and I think it's fantastic. It also has an angel. But look at the flowers and the weird peacock, and I just love these, um, I don't even know what they are. Seed pods. I'm planning on using some Whisper. No, this isn't Whisper. This is Silver Moon Linen, and these are the cold for threads. It's a rainbow. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I can't wait. Next up is a freebie by Heartstring Samplery. I've had this printed out for quite some time. And those two pieces that I just showed you are kind of bigger, and I don't want to start a ton of large, like four big, huge things. So I thought you gotta scale it back, do something smaller, 
and this fits the bill. This is Yukon's Christmas list and it's adorable. We love Yukon Cornelius. We actually have a stuffed animal <laughs> of Yukon Cornelius and it's really cute because he has a pickaxe and he has like a, a little backpack. It's like a very detailed stuffed animal, but he has this red beard. Every year he comes out of the Christmas tote and, you know, we play with him. The reason I would like to start this is I need to practice my drum making skills. Let's be honest. I need to find out if I have any drum making skills. And it's just a quick little stitch. So thank you, Beth. I look forward to starting that. My fourth project is going to be to make my second square in my Anna Maria Horner Story Applique Club. This is a club I joined at the beginning of the year where Anna Maria Horner, the quilting fabric designer, sends you a stack of fabrics. You're supposed to cut them up and make a raw edge applique type block. And I was really stepping out of my comfort zone and I knew I was when I joined the club and I still have a lot of thoughts about it, positive and negative. The negative ones are mostly like, I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> which is a little bit scary. Um, so here's the latest fabric shipment I got. It's a bunch of fat quarters and what you're supposed to do is choose like your background, whatever you want that to be. So like if I chose this one, uh, this would be my background. You cut it into an 18 inch square and then you like just cut up all the other fabrics and make a cute little scene and then decorate it with like sulky or aura fill 12 weight uh, thread. Like sew it all down, make some pretty stitches. It's hard people, it's real hard. <laughs> it is really hard for me. Like I got my first shipment in and I stared at it and stared at it and stared at it. They're all, all the fabrics are so pretty and vibrant that I couldn't understand why you would cut them uh, and possibly waste some because what if you cut it but then you don't like it and then you just cut this beautiful fabric up so I had to totally get over that so let me show you my first block and then this will be my second block and this will be my project so yeah I'll cut that up like I'll plan my little scene and then I take my sulky thread and like sew it down like I said, so many questions. I've done applique before, not this style, I don't know. So here's my first block. And I think I like it. <laughs> I think I like it. Uh, I did all of the like embroidery around the edges to tack down all the different pieces. Um, I like my block. That being said, if you look at the hashtag, like people do really amazing, incredible, mind-blowing things. And because this is a totally new art form for me and it's hard for me to understand how to take such busy fabrics and turn them into like some sort of cohesive piece. Uh, I'm kind of on the struggle bus, but trying to be okay with that. Trying to be okay with that. So that will be my fourth project to make my second block. All together, you make f four, five. I want to say there's five. And then she comes out with a quilt pattern so that if you want to put all five of your blocks together into one quilt that looks amazing, you can. I, I don't, did I emphasize the fact that I don't know what I'm doing? Good. 
So that is going to be my Stitch Sania. I would love to hear your plans for May, no matter what they might be. Put them down below. Don't forget if you want to do the Sania plan to hashtag Stitch Sania on your Instagram post so that I can see and peek and cheer you on. Just remember, cross stitch is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be therapy and we all could use a little therapy nowadays. Couldn't we? Talk to you later, friends. Bye.